Hey, what's up, world? This is Boy I was Shut You Down from Shut You Down Gaming. Today, I'm going to teach y'all how to import and use ma materials for UDK or Unreal Edge. My, my bad for slapping my knuckles. Not, I don't know why. But uh, I'm about to uh, show y'all from everything. Alright? So, you need to open up your image editor. Uh, I'm using GIMP. You can use Paint if you would like. Paint works just as well, but GIMP works way better because it's like Photoshop, but different at the same time. But so I'm just gonna start a new um, picture or whatever. It's gonna it has to be 256 by 256. It doesn't have to, but it has to be a square. All right. So I'm say okay. So I'm just gonna make let's see a gradient. It doesn't have to be black, red and black. It can be whatever you would like. Alright, corner to corner. Mm. It doesn't matter what you do, I'm just messing around. Uh, let's see, black. Alright, that's going to be my window. So, I'm going to say save as window dot tga all right tga is a, a special type of picture so i'm gonna say replace save i'm not sure if paint allows you to do it but yeah so you go to the content browser you bring up udk bring up the content browser and then say new no, you don't have to say new, say import. Go to wherever you saved your picture. Windows TGA. Okay. It's gonna say it's gonna come in as window. Say create material. Check it off and it'll bring it up. Um, as a texture and a material. Alright. Say okay to all. And then like twenty-four. And it says my package. And there it is, there's your material. So we're gonna bring up just any kind of plates. 1280 by 1280 by 100. Build, close. Oh, hold on. Say hollow, then build. And then click on CSG add, and it should bring it up, and you can go inside of it like this. Alright, and now it's a little room. So we're just gonna click on the material, click on a wall, add material mat. Hold on. Oh. Um, yeah, um, something. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Alright. You have to double click on the um, material, it's not going to show up. So you're going to have to bring it over here like this. And what is it? Opacity. That's it. I think that's all you have to do. So press the X and say yes. There we go. Alright. And it looks like that because it's obviously my material. Say apply, but you can change this by clicking on whatever wall or whatever, right clicking, going to align, and say fit, and it'll fit to that certain wall or whatever. But you're gonna have to do it to every wall that you would like it to. All right. So I'm and uh, default is like a whole bunch of squares. And that's basically how you do it. You usually do it to like buildings or whatnot. So, yeah. And you can play, you'll see it when you play it and stuff like that. Yeah. But that's it. That's all you have to do to uh, add a material to all of your um, stuff. A custom material. Alright. So, world, this is your boy. I'll shut you down from. Shut you down, game. If we don't forget to check out our website, I haven't been doing much. I apologize. Please help me out. I need help, not mental help, <laughs> but I need help. Like people help me out by telling me what they would like to see, 
what kind of design they would like, stuff like that. I'm op I'm a very open person, y'all. All right. So I'm all about the community. I'm all about the people. So this is why I was sitting down for Shake Down Gaming. Peace.